What's up, traders? Good Friday. Um, they say it's only one good Friday in the year. I think that's in uh, uh, November or somewhere around. No, in April. But I beg to differ. <laughs> Every Friday is a good Friday. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, make this a quick recap here. Like I said the other day, um, I wasn't going to be here, was that Thursday, uh, but I'm back today, so I didn't trade yesterday at all, I wasn't, I had to leave out at about 7.30, so um, no time to trade, and I didn't see anything in that time frame to trade anyway, so, anyways guys, um, one trade this morning, one trade today, um, not much else going on in the small cap world. Um, one thing I've always realized is um, this is an observation over the years, or well, the last two years of me day trading. Usually, usually around earnings season, um, I notice that all of the larger cap stocks get all of the attention, obviously. You know, so in, in the case of that, then a lot of the liquidity leads from the smaller cap market so therefore it's usually a little small period of slowdown in a, in a small market um, but uh, nevertheless there's always some type of opportunity but that's just an observation I've noticed uh, over the years um, earning seasons is good for the large cap world so if you trade you know larger cap stocks um, you know FedEx Amazon those type of stocks uh, Tesla all of that you can you can definitely find a whole lot of liquidity around this period every uh, every um, earnings period earnings season um, anyway but there are all, all opportunities not as many but I saw one this morning I was gonna continue trading but I, this was the only one I saw uh, but SMSI, um, I took a long position. Um, so this stock, it had news this morning. It has a price target and raised up to 750. So yeah, it had it had a little news, nothing major, but I noticed uh, this where all the action was. Um, you know, at the time, it was like 400,000 shares traded. This was pre-market. Um, so, let me walk you through the trade. Anyway, I made $33 before commission, 16 after commissions. Um, that's only taking 300 shares total on the trade. Um, so, I will open up Monday at a little over 8.20, like 8.23, 8.24. Um, I'm off for my daily goal. I, I said in the last video on Wednesday, I want to make at least $60, $70, you know, a day to try to get to that 1000 before the first. Uh, but, you know, you have to give what the market gives you. You can't, you can't make it give you more than what it's going to give you. So I've learned that. I actually was going to take another stab here, but I, I'm, I'm done for the day. But anyway, took a trade, guys. 8.38 in the morning. That was pre-market here on the East Coast. 8 a.m., 8.38. Um, let's see, around this area here. So what, what my plan was, what my mindset was here is... I was aware, um, this comes with time, but I was aware, I see something else jumping up here, guys, sorry. I was aware, uh, it's doing a pretty good little jump here, but anyway, I was aware of what I call a shorter trap, a short trap that will lead to a short squeeze. What I mean is, I noticed the stock was under the VWAP, right? Yet, it was holding a certain level. So it was holding like the 420 area, around this 420. It would not go under that. But yet, it was under the VWAP. So what does that normally mean to the average trader? 
they usually gonna especially now let me back this up now you'll see where there are some high volume spikes this was pre-market at this time this was high relative volume you know uh, in this period of time um, if, if you factor in after the bell then this is minute but this was how the the uh, chart looked at pre-market so I'm seeing you know a, a breakdown you know so in this with volume so therefore it's, it's, it's basically catching uh, shorts because it's under the VWAP but and then you see here this was a, 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 a inverted hammer here that's usually a bearish I'm sorry a bullish sign if it comes at the bottom of a, a trend um, and then it came with high volume so what does that mean it means that the stock you know it tried to go lower but within this candle even though it's red uh, the bulls start to buy it back up they start to take back control so I noticed that that's really what caught my attention all right and also like I said you see the high volume of down meaning you know shorters trying to get in trying to jock for position but it wouldn't go lower and I've seen this a million times usually I, like I said I call it a short trap you know it, it's something that it has to be below the view app because that's where most shorters start the short is when it goes under the view app um, but anyway I jumped in with my stop at the 420 area and sure enough uh, I got in at 838 at uh, 4 434 alright 434 like around this area here somewhere around here like here 434 sure enough it shot up added at the 450 area for the break uh, possibly higher to the 475 five dollar area so I saw it got up to 460 in the 460 for a little bit kind of played around so I went ahead and got out uh, with 300 shares so total three thirty three dollars 16 out the commissions so I'll open up Monday a little over 820 um, like I said guys it wasn't too much I I was looking for more plays guys I, I want to try to you know hit my goal so I, even if that means trading two three four times um, but if the opportunity is not there no you can't force it that's one thing I've learned about this market you cannot force it you have to take whatever it gives you and if it doesn't give you anything then hey walk away and then that just means you didn't lose anything right <laughs> So not lo being uh, pat, you know, or standing pat, meaning not losing anything or gaining anything, is always better than losing. So I'm done for the day, guys. That was my recap. Um, getting ready for this weekend, guys. Um, but anyways, guys, I, I wanted to just leave you with that. I'm gonna be. I may be able to trade Monday. I'm definitely, definitely not gonna be here Tuesday for sure. So. You know, if you see me in and out with the videos, that's that's what it's all about. But if I could leave you with anything, guys, I pretty much said it already. Is uh, stand pat. You know, if there's no opportunities, don't force anything. Don't do not force anything. Only sit and wait until you see your opportunities, guys. Take care.